That feels pretty good. This planner classing. Oh, the panic. The details come. Yeah, you can do that, but I mean, this thing is gonna go also. So, I mean, oh, we, we can actually deal one more damage with this. If we want. To. He does not. But as the bosses we are, as the bosses we are. Just clean it up again. Clean them up again. <laughs> clean them up, I say. <laughs> oh, planner cleansing. Will I, will I have four planner cleansing in all my decks from now on? Maybe. People often ask me. Yeah, that, that's just the name of the deck. The, the name of the deck is people often ask me. My thing is crap. We're playing a membership deck today. This is Dingo Scrubs. People often ask me, ask everyone to, if they wanted to, add a label on their deck. And this was, people often ask me, hipster, banish into fable, outlaw merriment, I don't know exactly what to call it. But it's a pretty cool deck. So, the, the first card that just strikes you is, banish into fable. When you cast a spell from your hand, if you control an artifact, then copy it. If you control an enchantment, you may choose new targets for the copies. You can get two extra copies. <laughs> I don't know why I did three, but you can get two ways to copies. And return target non land permanent to its owner's hand, and you create a 2 2 white knight with vigilance. This is surprisingly useful, actually. Like, if you're just sitting up with Banish the Fable, you can usually prevent most catastrophes that could happen. You can return multiple planeswalkers, you can return multiple creatures, haste creatures. It's actually good to deal with a lot of things. And also, we have Leyland of Anticipation, so we can do pretty much the same thing with Time Up and Planner Cleansing. And Planner Cleansing is so good right now. It's amazing. It's so good that I want to put it in essentially every deck I have. Because it deals with all the ovens, it deals with all the uh, trail of breadcrumbs, and all the firesome invention, and all the things they put down. It's so goddamn good. And we can also play that instant speed. It's amazing. And it doesn't matter in a man's deck if you play Planner Cleansing, because you just dance in the man's back everything, dance in the man's back everything, dance in the man's back everything, doesn't matter. And the things that you have down are usually sacrificial things ever, uh, anyways, like Golden Egg and Gilded Globe. Now on that we have Domin's Veto and Glass Casket, a little bit of removal, Teferi, a little bit of Counter Spells, we have a little bit of everything here, Drawn from Dreams, Definite Clarion to clear up. As you can see, we have a lot of way of controlling the board. We have Definite Clarion, Time Wipe, and Planet Cleansing, and Banish into Fable. So most of the time it's just going to be controlling the board, making sure we, <laughs> we set up the perfect win scenario with either a Dance of the Mans, or maybe a Banish into Fable, or maybe just putting down a lot of Outlaws Merriment. It's a pretty cool deck. Let's just jump into the games, shall we? Alex the Wolf. Alex the Wolf, that was a uh, man. Man of great legend. What did he do, you ask? Well, he wolfed around, he sniffed. <laughs> Searching for cheese. Cheesy place. <laughs> I can play on the arena. When he found them. He used them. Was the man Alex Wolf was. The man of using many cheesy at trick. It seems to be that cavalcade now. <laughs> I've played against so many cavalcade decks recently. Is it 90% of the metagame is what I'm wondering? Or is it just because I'm pla- Oh, it's not. Okay. And also, every time, you, you all know this, whenever I say something, oh, it's that deck, it's never that deck. It's also a uh, <laughs> common thing that I do uh, in my life. In the thing that I call my life. Mm. Do we try to draw final removal for this? We could do that. We could just sacrifice this. Or... We gain three life. That might just be as good. The problem is if this guy goes for buff, buff, buff or something, we might be in trouble. I've died to a Swift Blade Vindicator once. He went Swift Blade Vindicator. No, no, no. Actually, he went the uh, the white one, which is even worse. It's just it only has double strike. It's a one one. Oh, it's called fencing ace. And then he went giant growth, giant growth, giant growth. That was just oh, no, I didn't catch it on the tape. Also horrible. On tape, you ask? Who catches things on tape? Talk about tape. Talk about the past. Don't talk about the present. Sweet play Vindicator. And this guy not Legion. Legion Air. Well. Do we now heal with the Golden Egg? I don't think we're gonna need monos of other colors. We have all the colors for time wipe, so. We can do this. Mm -hmm. and get the three life points. It could go merriment. I mean, that's 
what we have to do, right? And then next time we can time wipe. <laughs> with, with the thing that we just created, we just killed immediately. That seems amazing. <laughs> it's very, very good. This could be a deck with the Feather Redeem. I saw a deck yesterday with Feather Redeem. <laughs> and that's what I'm basing it on. Maybe it's back, I don't know. Seen it one time now, I mean... Uh... Ooh, yes, now I know we have... Okay, so the reason why we have Planner Cleansing in this deck, I had to figure this out, I had to check the deck list with all these things. Okay, so first of all, we can bring them back with Dancing Mass. It doesn't matter too much anyways, but also... What can do with this? We can turn your own permanents. We return to Fable. Think about it. You can save them if you want to. Uh, but here, what does this guy even do? Lifelink haste. Okay. He's gonna. <laughs> He's gonna die so much. I tried to go in there, so we just gonna clear up. Mm. But next turn, I would love lifelink haste. Next turn, Atlas Merriment. Lifelink haste could be amazing. Alex Wolf is. Uh, mm. What was that guy? Mm. 10 out of 10. Oh. It's a 10. I don't know. I'm trying to reference a meme while at the same time uh, keeping my brain. <laughs> keeping my brain in check. That's impossible. It's definitely, definitely impossible. What do we have in hand there? We have a lot of dance and We have a planner cleansing. I mean, all we really need is the, that planner cleansing. We can planner cleanse our own merriment and then we can return it. Let's go for lands. Go for lands, I see. It's untapped. Shmink. Uh, nah, I think we just block with this. Block with it. See, if we put some more, we just cleanse. I mean, this is actually really good in these types of things. I haven't even thought about it. I mean, when we have Dance of the Man, so like, eh, who cares? <laughs> who cares if we cleanse? Let's bring everything back. Oh, you. Oh, now it's evil. <laughs> now it's perfect! Alex Wolf, you just set it up for us. You just set this up for us. Do we bring our Atlas Merriment back now? Or do we? In fact, do that during his turn. There's a little bit of an anti-combo. The glass casket is a little bit of an anti-combo with planner cleansing, I must say. It's not 10 out of 10, I wouldn't say. It's 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10, amazing. Okay, Aurelia, that's fine. That doesn't have haste. Mm -hmm. Man, if Aurelia could give haste though, then maybe she would see play. That would be a pretty cool ability. That one. Mm. I know, but she doesn't have that, so why am I even... <laughs> Whatever. Well. I'll pass the turn. See when he puts down some creatures. End his whole career with a plan on cleansing. And this deck is pretty sweet, honestly. <laughs> this deck is really good. Thank you, Lingus Scrub. I really, really like it. When there's some tricks in us, and you, you like, experience, like... This thing works. Man, I can't speak today. The thing is, I didn't record anything yesterday. And this always happens. And also, I need something to blame. I can't just you know, blame myself. <laughs> Who blames himself or anything? It's everyone else's fault. Always. It's everyone else's fault. In every possible way. Okay. Out of Merriman, it's back. But he's gonna care about it. Gosh, not. Okay, so now we can return our golden egg and we can return a ley line. That's not amazing. I think we'll do this. Find some more juice. Uh, well, another. Let's just go outlaws. Let's just go outlaws. <laughs> it is an outlaws deck after all. I mean, we have to win with outlaws. What's a merry hunt, by the way? A merry gathering of people or something it means something like that. I think. I, I I mean, this is just. I have no idea what the word means, by the way. But I was thinking, these guys look merry and they are gathering, so maybe that's what's going on there. Embreath Shieldbreaker, destroy target artifact. 
could only have been enchantment. And he could have ruled the world. It was not. It was not. I love that he's staying in there. This is amazing. Uh, did we take this guy away? Why not? It's in the way. In the way, I say. I'm not a shield breaker. I guess there's a lot of good artifacts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Violent snarfer. What's a snarfer? Snarfer is a guy who snarls at people like this. <laughs> and uh, he does it very violently. I already did it violently. So we, I don't need it. You don't need to see another impression of that. You've already seen it. Well, he's seen exactly what this guy is about. Comes up to your ear and he's like... <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, ah! <laughs> There's something about the ear. Uh, I, th I think that humans throughout the centuries have been very... Like, shit has happened to your ears. <laughs> this is what I think. Because it's so easy to just go... Like this, when something happens. Like... This, the smallest feather or something at your ear, and you're like, no, not this again! <laughs> like, that reflex is deep, deep-rooted in the human consciousness. And they protect your ear reflex. <laughs> we don't care about protecting our head. We just could care about protecting our ears. Don't know why. <laughs> the ear evolution of the human species. <laughs> it's the most complicated. Of all the evolutions. Mm. Mm hmm. Patera Mander is the ballest man. It seems so impractical to go both balloon and wings. Or is it smart, maybe? If it's a helium balloon and then he just like swimming. <laughs> Swim technique with these things. Might be. I mean, he might not be... I mean, he's a flyer, but... He might just have been a... Uh, a sea creature. <laughs> it's turned to a lore video way too quick. Way too quick. Do we now... Keep up the Domus video, we ask. Of course, keep up the Domus video. Or... Nothing happens, we can just crack that egg. Mm -hmm. Snack on it. Snack a runes on it. Uh, is this gonna be some kind of counter deck though? I don't think so well. But what was that sentence? I don't think so well. <laughs> well, it's, un it's actually true though. But it's not what I meant to say. And he's not doing anything. Terramander. Slowly shipping away Elsa. Out of sanity. Cheers. <laughs> this Dr. Pepper is so good by the way. <laughs> if you don't like regular Dr. Pepper, you're definitely not gonna like this Dr. Pepper. Yeah, that never hurts. That could be dangerous. Way too dangerous. Way too dangerous. Okay. The Pter, though. Two winged words. I mean, I, I still don't feel like clearing this guy up. He doesn't even have enough manas to uh, adapt it. I'll stay up with this, which I can't use. I eat the egg. And then next turn I'm banishing the fate. That doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> it's just copies if I have instant artifacts. You need to have instant and artifacts, okay. Goes in for one. Okay, so do I banish into Fable? Giving my opponents. No, it's six mana. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. It keeps up two where. Could that be a negate? Or it's gonna be the fourth the fourth wing words! <laughs> Well, he had all of them. Now we know. Uh, I think I just gained life. Because it's six mana to get to this. We're probably gonna get, yeah, something before that. Like this. And snack on him. And we're done tapped. And just wait to banish something into a fable. That's, uh... It's a cool card, though. It is a little bit expensive at 6 mana. This could easily have costed a little bit less. <laughs> easily. I mean, it's an instant, so... I guess that's why it's so expensive. Tur Amander. And... 
that one. Schnacklers. Well, these we can do both banish into fables. But are we gonna risk him having a negate for that? Hmm. Because we could just do it now. Could just do it now. It's not much different if we do it during his attackers. But these guys don't have haste anyway, so I think we'll do it now. Return the Cracklers. Return the Pteromander. Wink, wink. Wink, wink. Okay. We don't have much juice, though. I mean, we can return the Golden Egg with Dance of the Mouse. We can clear up our own Tutus. None of these uh, alternatives really seem exciting. What we can do, though, we can attack into his Cracklers. He surely blocks with it. And then we definitely clear him. That could be pretty, pretty decent. The Violent Snarfer. <laughs> with all the winged words. Man, do I love winged words. That's Snarfer. <laughs> Man, was a lucky to draw all of them. Oh. Well, here's the thing. The only way we can kill that thing is if he blocks one of these. <laughs> is he? He's gonna block them. Oh, we just take it. Darn it. God darn it, dang it. Well. Well. <laughs> Guess that can bounce it. That's something. I don't want to return my egg here, no? I think we'll end the turn. It's going to be dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Mm -hmm. Take that one damage. Violent Snarfer. Violent Snarfer. Cracklers. Mm -hmm. There's one more damage there. Uh, hmm. Well, at least we can bounce the nib. Next turn. That's a little bit annoying, but then at least he needs to replay it. Okay, Lava Cult, the other one. And Rust Card, and kills the other one. <clears throat> yeah. But at least he's concerned with these guys, which is probably good for us. We're gonna go down low, though. We're gonna go down low. Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> hmm, hmm. We can scry two, if we're gonna do at the end of his turn. Okay, returns a card. We hurt some Of course. And then. There. It's gonna be done also. I'm gonna check the top two then. That's not what we want there, so. That can go. Wink! This guy is pretty. At least they can get rid of the Nibmizat. Which is probably killing us otherwise. Oh, that's a good one. Well, we kind of need to cle clear the Pter, else we're not doing anything. <laughs> okay, does Mr. Crackless go in for a phaser, maybe? You can play this, and you can play the winged words with Nimissa. Deal two damage, one to my face. Yeah, that's pretty good. Winged words. One to my face. One to my... <laughs> this. I'm going to say. Mr. Cracklers. Oh, okay, we're in... We're in some... Some pain here. Down to eight. Do we have enough white? We don't even have enough white. <laughs> I realized right now. Ah, we don't have enough white. Oh no. Oh, we don't have enough white. Wait, we can return the golden egg. Wait, wait, wait. We can return. Is it enough if we play this and no crack? It's not. It's one off. Ah, <sighs> that doesn't work. 
I should have returned the golden egg earlier. But I had it. Oh, I think I just sacrificed it for life also. If I'd had that golden egg now, I could have played the Planner Classic. Oh! Details! And you want to hear some more details about how I'm gonna crush all these scrubs? Absorb is <laughs> such, such a difficult card to play in this deck. Such a difficult card. With all these basics. Think of Mulligan. I guess we'll keep. I think we ship the glass casket. I kind of want to have the planner cleansing. Kind of feels like a lifesaver in many cases. Kind of feels like that. In my opinion. Oh, let's see here. Put down the temple. You know what? That doesn't feel too bad. Playing this. At some point. Let's go for that. Use. It's loose. Ma, 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 ma. It's just magic become. We're playing G's. Mighty G's. Like, you're not really inspired by a lot of these cards. You're like, magic used to be all these cool wizards and demons and stuff. And now it's like, ah, it's just a regular cat. Uh, the design, just a cat on a rock. And a goose. I guess it's gold. <laughs> like, it's special. It's a rare. Oh, no. Freaking oven! Man, how I hate the oven. How I hate the oven. Amen. <laughs> ah. I always get a headache when I see the ovens. So I know I'm gonna have to play <laughs> against them for at least 5,000 hours. Is that really... Weren't you exa exaggerating there, you ask? Slight exaggeration, but not much. Not much at all. We gotta we need to keep this though, because we want the planner clans at some point. And we need the manas. This shit right there. This is why I advocate the banning. Of the, probably the witches oven. Is the one you should ban. Or nah, no no no, that's not true. Because this this could go with other things. Ban the familiar. <laughs> ban the familiar. Or fix the interface, which they're never gonna do. We know they're never. But, uh, oh, well, maybe, maybe we can pay <laughs> 10,000. Oh, this would be, oh, such a typical wizard thing. It would be genius and everyone would pay for it. Wizards, listen to me. If you want money, here's what you do. 10,000 coins. You have one button to do this entire thing with which is oven return call familiar. One button press. You will get millions and millions of dollars for this. I should not have told you this, because now, <laughs> now probably, probably they're gonna do it now. <laughs> ten thousand coins. For uh, ten thousand, you can either get a brawl queue or, or listen up now, <laughs> or you can get the ability to play Call of Familiar without it being horrible. It's a very cheap price. Just saying. Okay. The G's goes more food there. Well, at some point, we're gonna cleanse him. We're gonna cleanse him. We are gonna cleanse him. Oh, we're still gonna cleanse him. We are gonna cleanse this cat. And this oven. <laughs> this oven. Uh, it doesn't have red though. I wonder if this. Okay, Raska Golgari Queen. That's gonna eat up my golden egg here. It would be dangerous if I had that golden egg, right? No. Nope. It's up the food. Ooh. Well, it's fine if it does that again. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, we have the bestness. So all we really need, either we go and snack on food, that thing we're gonna do. We snack on the food, we go up six because we're gonna need the HP, and then we plan our cleanse the turn after. Because we're gonna lose every permanent anyways when we plan our cleanse. Let's pass the turn. 
And you might think that we have a counter. We do not. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect! All according to plan. Mm -hmm. Sacrifices the food. This, I think, will maybe bring back white a little bit. I mean, planner casting is really amazing right now. Against so many decks. It's amazing, amazing against fires. Uh, it's amazing against these types of decks. What is it not good against? It's not good against Monrad, I guess. <laughs> it's way too slow. Way too slow against him. Okay, call him familiar. Oh. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna snack here. Snack on the egg. Mm hmm. And snack on the egg. Wink. And go down to 18. That feels pretty good. This planner classing. Oh, the panic. The details can. Yeah, you can do that, but I mean, this thing is gonna go also. So, I mean, oh, we we can actually deal one more damage with this. We want. He does not. Didn't want that last point of damage. It's too much. He says, no more damage. I cannot accept it. Okay, another Raska. Bulgari Quan. Too late. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need a little bit more to use the dance for the full effect there. But what we could do. Mm, I guess it's pretty good to put down the guild globe now. And it's also pretty good. Oh man. It'd be so sweet with a Tiferi Tamar of Loser. Nah, we go for the merriment. <laughs> we go for the merriment. Good card. And next turn, we can go for the dance. The Mega Dance. The Mega Dancers of the Mega Man. Frack you. <laughs> you find it immediately! Like a mil a millisecond's pause, and then you had another witch in summon. Okay. Okay. But as the bosses we are! The bosses we are! Just clean it up again! Clean them up again! <laughs> clean them up, I say! <laughs> oh, planner cleansing! Will I, will I have four planner cleansing in all my decks from now on? Maybe. Maybe that's just. <laughs> maybe that's just how we do things now. Planner cleansing and a way of returning planner cleansing. <laughs> Don't just keep doing that. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Details is just. Oh, he's not liking the situation here. He's made his meta deck. He's net decked the entire evening here to find the perfect, perfect cat deck to play. And then in the end, it didn't really matter. Hmm. They want to dance now. How many can I return? I can return four. That's a few of them. But we can also make him kill this. And. Oh, we need double white for this, though. We can also banish that thing into a fable. Which would be cool. Yeah, let's see what that's doing his turn. We're gonna, we're gonna take some time with this dance in the match. We're gonna, you know, savor the flavor there. Okay. Oh, I could have counted that, but I didn't. <laughs> I choose not to. Okay. Turn this. Chwink. Get a 2-2. Two -two. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing value. Uh, now we can have this down, and we can have the absorb down. And... Now we can go with Knight also. Now we're just crushing with this. <laughs> the cat decks! I'll stand a chance, end the turn. Uh, we're gonna keep up the absorb, and then we're gonna dance. I I would love if we played Thrashing Bronton now and killed the Outlaws Merman. That's perfect! Then we just return to dancing nice. That thing though, what's he gonna sacrifice with that? Uh, that thing I don't lack. 
I don't like her. Okay, the two one. Let's go in. Smack him. Boom, boom. Uh, well, well, maybe, maybe now I do it. Okay, I don't have much else I can do this turn, so I guess, I guess this is the play. Bada bum. Din 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 din. <laughs> Ooh, sweet, sweet, another one, and you occurred. Now we're in a pretty good position. All you need is planner cleansings. All you need is cleanse. Ba -da -ba -da -da -da. And there'll be no ovens. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da. You go first. I mean, this is a solid good deck, honestly. Just uh, so many good things I like about it. I really, really like the planner cleansing. I'll probably go as far as maybe put in four. So good I think they are. I mean, they've been good in like every match you've played so far. Uh, so that's, uh, that, that's pretty nice. So now, we can either play it to fear during night or we can play it during this turn. And we can play it during our sleep. I think we can play this during the end of his turn. Because that would be cool. Rhythm of the Wild, okay. Well, well, well. My turn. You show the moves. I'll show the strength. Ooh, now then, we have double white and we have red, so we can put down the out outlaws moment. We can be great. Oh, I should have played that at the end of the turn though. Oh, that was a mistake. I can play that at any point. I have ley line. I have freaking ley line. Place the rhythm. This is the rhythm of the night. Yeah. <laughs> now we have double, no, have double access to uh, instant speed. Okay, that's cool. Do we go in with this? Nah, not when everything he has has haste. We can keep this up. Keep him up. Hmm. He's gonna go for the uh, the sheep, the cheap cheap, or he's gonna have something else here. Renewal is a little bit scary, I must say. A little bit scared, depending on what it has. Here. Okay, circuitous route. Okay, it needs bigger dudes, bigger dudes, Mr. Stumpy. Banishing the Fable is a cool. Card. I wonder if you could push this card a little bit further with some concept. Hmm, it is cool in this deck, though. I must say, it has worked out pretty great. Um. Let's see here. Battlefield. We would love to have another white. Can we get a white source somehow? We can't get a white source. We have planner cleansing already. I guess we take the time wipe. And we take the steam vents. So then we can clear during his turn. Get a 2-1. Ooh, there's the white. I don't really want to wipe myself, maybe. Well, I could time wipe, so that's fine. Plus you. I'll protect you. I can time wipe first, and then I can plan our cleansing after that. Wink. Mr. Stumpy. This is another archetype of deck which I've never really played. The Rhythm of the Wild style decks. It's a pretty cool thing. Maybe I should try to make something like a haste deck. The problem is, in my opinion, like the best cards to put haste on already has haste. <laughs> like Questing Beast is an amazing card with haste. Okay, what are you gonna attack? Show me. Ah, that thing. Nah, that thing. Uh, yes, we'll return that to one to around. Mm hmm. And then. Hmm. Mr. Stumpy. Circuitous. Finds the roots. I guess I could have banished in the fable, couldn't I? I could have. I could have, but I didn't want to. Oh, we'll plus you. I've got time. And we're going with this guy. And smack. And then turn and keep up Banish the Fable. I mean, now Banish the Fable is actually good. Since it's got to defend against two things at instant speed. That's pretty strong. 
And it can depend defend our own things also from like mass manipulation or anything. Something like that. If he has that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mr. Stumpy though. His gatebreaker ram tactics did really work out for him. He's gonna go for something else, maybe. In my turn. Do I just banish into the table? Then copy it if you can roll enchanted. Mm. They want to return the rhythm of the wild. Do they have to speak play it again? No, I just think I keep up here. I mean, he's not doing anything. He's not doing anything. I could have... Oh, I could have scribed this. That was a... Oh, that's a cool one. Maybe now, since I have instant speed anyways, I'll bounce this to have access to Dolan's Veto. In case it goes for a mass manipulation or something. Wink, wink. I mean, I think we got him by the balls here, honestly. I mean, what? how can he get out of this? How can he get out of this? I don't know. Could play this again. And that's fine. I don't need to. Or do I? Don't miss Vito it. Uh, he wants to clear up. Preventing a little bit of damage. Do I don't miss Vito that? Let's see here. Let's see, he puts down. I don't think he can put down a creature and this, so I'm gonna veto it. Also, I love showing that I have a veto. I think it's pretty cute. Now it puts this down. Oh, we could put this down and a Gatebreaker Ram, I guess he could do that. But I don't think he's gonna. I don't think he has it. Explosion for three. His own face. No, okay. He could go. <laughs> Didn't like that. Didn't like that thing. Okay. My turn. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> Down to one. Mm, again, I think I forgot about the Castle of Antras. Mm, I think we're fine here. Just banishing the fable. I mean, we have everything. We can even plan a cleansing dance. And we can do anything. Anything. <laughs> It's possible. You believe yourself. <laughs> if you believe yourself, you believe that you exist. Well, e even if it clears here, I mean, I'm gonna get another dude. It's at least gonna be one power with haste. So, clearing here doesn't even do anything. But, I don't think you thought about it. Got him! Ooh. Member shout out. Meh, meh, meh. Member shout out. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. And a special thank you, of course, to our dear members, which I'm gonna summon. You've seen this trick before. Ah, here they come. <laughs> thank you everyone so much. Uh, Blue Dragon, Adam Alexis, Magic Pistol Man, Simon Lauer, Rodney Cox, Herman M., The Soft. Pillow, Snick, Shamanix, Spence Hofsty, Alex Mikeb, Nathaniel Nissard, Lasers at the Stun, Eric0234, Jeff Henry, Leaning Into It, Michael W, Pocky U, Matthias Porley, Topless Investments, Kronos1107, W Lutz, 1978, PE Label, Peter Gohl, Sean Stevens, Gabriel Juvenal, Tandex, Wizard, QD Lady23, Way, Mesomok1, Ye Old Bassist, The Dingo Scrub, Crew, The Barbarian, Link is weak, Rainbow 2002, 40k television, You Lie Moonlight Star, Drake Edge 2000, Dave Stare, Jurassic Fart, The Swamp King, Rage Dodge, Simple Human, Badass Iwanab, John Domian, Gesuzaki, Own77, Sam Williamson, Ellie Curtis, Noah VH, MC Hummers, Face uh, Fumiaki Kinoshita, Akros Ascending, J Cap, Wookie Floren, Dam Drone, Steve Draminski, Strange Brontide, Stonky Kong, Sky Surfer Zero, Tim Dutton, Jake Denley, Santa John, Steinerick Bakken, The Mac Dunking Clow, Rob Akuna, Chase Closed, John Lakava, Ayayayay, Honza Kos, Jingai, Michael Cupido, 
Agony Reborn, Ramen Noodles for Me, Nicola Sanotti, Nethervex, Andrew Blank, Aaron Noble, Adam Alexis, Betsuma, Brandon Dobbs, Callistus Missile, Carlo Palumbo, Chloe, Coop, Cooper, <laughs> Coop the Grace, Dan Goodsell, David Hanel, David Newman, DBK Drama, Dinka Scrub, Dr. Jadron, Drew Styles, Eventum Tantum, Freeman Steppesum, Jeff Georgia, Infinite Draw, Xavier Dias, Kason, Magneto, Miss and Mrs. Smith, Neo Terror, Ninja Long Gnome, Rango Mango, Piotr Stolarsk, Pote, Prince Mok, Bagok, Esquire, Rainbow Cake, Serge Karamarov, Super Noodle 7, Wonder Brand, and X Common Text. You guys are amazing! Thank you so much for all your support. If you also want to become a dark disciple and help rule the underworld, then check out the join button next to the subscribe button, or check out my Patreon, link in the description. Thanks so much for watching, and see you next time. Also, thank you! The only bad show is a Patreon! You guys are amazing! Don't forget to subly dubly, scribbly dibly.